you have to have a larger vision for your life. Because if your ship has no rudder or no direction, no map, then you may crash into the cliffs. Hello friends, today I want to talk to you about visioning. Having a vision for your life. And I want to also talk to you about creating your vision board. Now that's why I have my special vision spectacles on today. Because I want to talk to you about having a vision for your life and creating your vision board. Now when creating your vision board, what's a vision board to start off with? Well, a vision board is basically a wall or a piece of paper or even on your phone you can use Pinster or those um, social media apps to create a vision for your life you know so if you're a total old school like I am I normally create things that for my vision board all the pictures that I want get a picture of the things that I want for my life so for example this this is like a house that I would want for my for myself so I got a picture of it and I'm going to put this on my vision board so let's say this is my vision board I would put it right here now it might not be a house that you want or if it's a house that you want you put a picture of your house on your vision board if you want a car get a picture of a car not just any car maybe a picture of that car that you want and put it on your vision board if you want a job get a picture of um, you working in a job or have a picture of somebody else working in, in that job and put a picture of your face on it nothing's wrong with that some people might say you're weird but it's okay if you want to get an education or a higher education get a picture of you um, in that position getting your education collecting your degree if you want a child get a picture of a baby put it on your vision board if you want to travel the world some to some country say Dubai or you know maybe France get a picture of France or the, of the Eiffel Tower and put it on your vision board whether it is a, it's, a, it's a hobby get a picture of you or somebody else doing that hobby if you want to get fit get a picture of somebody exercising living healthy and put it in your vision board but what what how do you create your vision board as I said you need to write down the things that can propel you to where you want to to go and what do you want to get in life put that in specific terms for your vision board place a picture as I said of the things that you want on your vision board and your vision board doesn't have to be the, the most fancy if you want to spend time and make it pretty that's okay but you need to make sure that your vision board has timelines on it don't just put a picture there and leave it Put a picture and say, by 2020, I want to have my house. So you write that down underneath the picture of the house. And put timelines. It can be every five year, uh, for the next five years. It can be for the next year. So by December, now it's January. By, by, by December, you want to have this. Make sure you put some timelines on your vision board. And they say, you know what they say? They say, vision without work is dead. So, with your vision board, you're going to start putting in the time, putting in the work. And a vision board is basically a tool. Once you've created it, get to work. Don't procrastinate. And if you want to exercise, for example, put a picture of somebody getting fit. If you want to eat healthy, get a picture of somebody eating healthy. You don't limit yourself for your vision board. You can have the wildest dream. Put it on it. Don't worry about what people might say because the truth is it's your vision board. It's what you want for your life. You have to have a larger picture for your life and challenge yourself to do it, to go out. Don't worry about failing. If you fail, try again. But you have to put a picture of it, picture it in yourself. Think, do, be. That's the word I'm giving you. Think, do, be. Why not you? Why can't it happen to you, my friends? Anything that you dream of is possible, but you have to charge after your dreams. You have to go after it. And maybe you need to pay the price to, to achieve this. Maybe you need to make some sacrifices, but do the work. Put in the work and make the sacrifices. You can have more than one vision board, by the way. You can have a vision board for your work or your professional life. You can have a vision board for your personal life. 
You can have a vision board for your, for your family, what you want for your family. But you can have more than one vision board. And don't leave no stones unturned. Everything in your life, everywhere you want, every aspect in your life that you want to improve, have a vision, a picture of that on your vision board. And get your why. What is your why? Why do you want it? And it should have a reason. You should have a reason why you want to achieve this thing, my friends. And even a picture of a face, even a picture of the face of somebody feeling happy, living in that moment that you want or experiencing that. So if you want to be happy, put a picture of somebody happy on your vision board. And think of yourself, see yourself experiencing that emotion. And your vision board needs to be what you want for your life for the next five years or the next 10 years or whatever visualization is very important friends so you have to keep playing that vision over in your mind whatever you want play it over in your mind every day use pinterest for example what i use sometimes i take pictures of the things that i want for my life and i have them in my, in my phone and sometimes i go through those pictures and i remember that i want this for myself and for my family so you can do that and play your vision over in your head as I said and what do you have to lose what do you have to lose by creating your vision board friends you don't have anything to lose and it's important that you dream big don't limit yourself and even the kids get the kids involved get the children involved making their vision boards you can't be too young to have um, your vision board if you can create it as a collage or just random pictures of the things that you want but make sure you put some timelines on it and it teaches our young people when you teach them to create their vision board it teaches them that you too can take a hold of the steering wheel of your life and instead of complaining about the economy for example you can take charge of your life and you can know that it's already done make sure you include God in the mix because with God in the mix, you can smile at any storm. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for more videos, go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. God bless you. See you soon.